Okay, so here we are. It's exciting delivery today of my Attic EFW3 two inch filter wheel. It's um, just arrived this morning from First Light Optics. And we're now gonna open up and see what we've got. So, here we go. Now this is Attic's new filter wheel for uh, holding seven two inch filters or seven 50.8 mil filters. So it's very well packaged. I mean, there's plenty of uh, packaging material inside there, so that's quite good. Certainly not going to get damaged in transit. And here we are, Attic EFW3 2 inch. So we'll open it up. We have the packing list where it tells us one mini USB cable, one power cable, two hex can keys, uh, 1.5mm and 2mm. M54 adapter, quick start guide and software CD. So here's the quick start guide, um, which is quite good. Two sided, quite comprehensive, looks reasonably good. Let's keep that to the side. Nice bit of uh, polystyrene there to protect it. Uh, the software manual on CD. I wonder when they're actually going to. Um, release that on perhaps on mini disc uh, on a USB stick and not many other smaller PCs have USBs now I know my Mac doesn't uh, have CDs sorry and there's the USB mini cable and 12 volt power lead with a cigar type outlet we won't be using that and there's a two inch adapter And now to the filter wheel. This is inside a jiffy bag. And there it is. There's the there's nothing else. Uh, there's our little Allen keys that come in a packet. So if we move this out of the way. Put this on here. There we are. There's the FW3 filter wheel. Feels very it's actually very light, very very much lighter than I expected. Uh, I believe it's supposed to be 850 grams, uh, but it is very light. Looks quite nice, very well made. I believe Attic say it's actually machined again from a single block of aluminium. Um, there's the fittings on the bottom there, which uh, that's a standard USB and. Uh, 5.5 by 2.1 mil 12 volt and we'll compare it actually to uh, an EFW2 I have my EFW2 here so if we put them side by side and you can see it's a it's a fair size a fair bit bigger than the EFW2 um, it's actually slightly thinner than the EFW2 I think it's only it's 0.2 of a millimetre smaller, thinner. Um, but it's actually, I would say there's really very little in weight between them. I mean, I haven't got scales to weigh them on me, but they, I will do that in part two. I'll weigh them. Um, but it's actually very little in weight between them. Um, I have my gauges here. So that is 21.8 millimeters, and the EFW2 is 22. So it's actually very slightly narrower than the um, EFW2. Now the benefit that the EFW3 has over the two is that I'm able to actually fit fix my. Uh, 16,200 camera directly to the uh, to the filter wheel so there are you see there's three little screws on the front and there's actually three screw holes on the back now the idea I believe being that um, you can screw directly through you take the 
front panel off of the uh, the attic 16200 and then that fixes directly on to the filter wheel and screws through from the inside uh, so we'll take the the filter wheel apart we'll put some power on it and see how it looks with um, or how it sounds with the power on and we'll come back to this in part two okay so welcome welcome back to part two so I've undone the seven outside screws which uh, all, all undo with the supplied allen key and the middle screw is actually recessed so once done up it actually sits flush so whatever's sitting on the front of the filter wheel uh, can sit flush uh, so once they're all undone we can actually take the cover off um, and this reveals the inside and there's a little switch now I'm guessing that's a little binary switching so that it can um, find its position um, I've got the two inch uh, mounted filter uh, carousel if you're going to use uh, unmounted it's actually a different carousel you need to uh, order that separately so this is for the two inch and then you have the 50.8 unmounted um, at this moment I only have two inch mounted filters uh, but I will be um, possibly getting the Astrid on which they don't do in the two inch mounted it has to be uh, the unmounted they don't do the HA uh, three nanometers in a mounted um, format so what we'll do is we'll uh, apply a little bit of power to the wheel and we'll see if it goes I won't worry about that noise that's just the way that it's uh, sat and it hasn't got the cover on Ooh, a little tick as the the switch finds its way and there it is it's actually found its position looks like the position is pretty well central so we show there is it's actually it's found its way quite well the position is very much center of the opening that's quite good the quality overall feels extremely good um, you can see it's all machined from one piece and we'll pull the filter wheel out so that obviously needs to go in one way the filters will screw in the front you see on the, the filter wheel there there's a little, little groove there uh, which is what the the wheel for the motor will run in so when we put the wheel back in we need to make sure that that groove sits on the wheel and that the switch sits on the front and then it fits in like that so and once we drop the power out and put the power back in we're going to do another reset run but at the moment first impressions are actually very good uh, it feels solid feels typically attic um, so we'll close it up um, at the moment I'm not going to put my filters in I'll be putting them in later on but I'll close it up for now uh, and then test it with um, the software make sure it all runs okay so I'll see you in part three and just to confirm the uh, the sound or that vibration that we heard with the cover off isn't there when we power up the cover on that's absolutely fine sounds pretty quiet um, just as quiet as the EFW2 obviously that clicking noise is the switch as it's going through the little notches on the wheel to find its position and that's it it's sat back in the exact finishing position so it's all very good so we can see the position that it's uh, finished in when it does a reset which is exactly in the center of the two inch wheel um, it comes standard with the M54 adapter on the back which um, will fit on my attic um, 16200 other adapters are available I believe but this really is for larger format cameras so most are going to have uh, 54mm or M54 um, 
threads on the end of them. Obviously it does also come with the two inch nose piece. So if you're using uh, a, a push fit or a two inch adapter, and then that comes with that to screw in. Uh, but obviously, as I said, I will be using uh, the, the screw fit. On the, I'm going to screw my Attic 16200 direct to the front of the, the uh, to the rear of the filter wheel, and on the front, uh, the 54 mil adapter straight to my OTA. The one nice thing that it looks like that I was worried at first whether they would still incorporate it um, is the fact that they are still using the uh, little screws that you place your allen key in uh, and this allows you to rotate the camera angle so we can loosen these off place your allen key in the other side loosen that off and it lets you rotate your camera angle obviously with the direct fix into the front we're not going to have that ability so i will have to uh, make sure that everything clears uh, but as with the efw2 you can rotate your camera and then just lock that off afterwards but that's a great little feature of the attic over just about every other filter wheel that i know um very nice I have to say, more than pleased. And the next thing is we'll do a performance test and see how it performs. So I'll see you in the next part. Mm -hmm.